So now let us look at the another natural resource that is what we are going to discuss here is that coal and petroleum. So coal and petroleum is an important natural resource. Here coal and petroleum are useful in two ways. One is as a fuel source of energy. They are the major source of energy for the transportation vehicles run by petrol and diesel which are obtained from petroleum. Coal is used to produce electricity in the thermal power stations. So these are the fuels that means source of energy. Second thing is raw materials. These are the raw materials for synthetic synthetic objects or things. What does it mean synthetic plastic? So we see so many synthetic materials even cloths even packing material even utensils everything is made out of plastic and uh, it's a synthetic composites. So it is a source of carbon compounds which have a special characteristic that is non-degradable. So that character made the plastic is a good material for various purposes in food in healthcare everywhere the plastics are used these are all derived from coal. So these fossil fuels the coal and petroleum they are available in the earth's crust. But how far they will be available like that. Okay they are available we are extracting them we are using them we are making so many products out of that and we are using all these products for our comfort. But here due to the increase in population increasing demand for all these products lots and lot of coal and petroleum are extracted and they are used like that but definitely on one day they will be exhausted. So what would be the condition? What do we do that we give for the future generations? So that is the reason why this natural resource it has to be used judiciously. Earlier the usage of these materials was less limit, uh, limited, less. But when this industrial revolution started, in the industrial revolution the major invention was steam engine. Engines were invented. The engines are connected to the factories. The factories are mechanized. Everything goes in machines. That means some machine will run automatically by using some fuel like coal, steam. So it started using machines everywhere for transport, for production of goods, for transport of goods, for everything. So thereby the usage of this coal and petroleum increased a lot. So here the problem is not only the exhaustion of these resources, the another problem is when these resources are burnt to get energy. When petrol is burnt, diesel is burnt, other materials are burnt, they release so many poisonous gases. As these are carbon compounds which contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen sometimes, these gases are released into the atmosphere. The coal may contain sulphur which is released into the atmosphere, sulphur oxides react with rainwater form acid rains. Nitrogen react with uh, oxygen and form nitrogen oxides and react with rainwater may form acid rains. So they may pollute the air, they release compounds like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide which is very dangerous. Carbon monoxide is more harmful compared to carbon dioxide. So this carbon monoxide is released in the smoke of vehicles which use petrol and diesel to run. So this carbon monoxide it causes so many problems, health problems, headache, nausea, vomiting and these kind of problems in the urban people, those who travel in traffic for long hours, they are exposed to carbon monoxide. So their blood cells efficiency decreases in carrying oxygen. So by that leads to headache, fatigue and uh, so many kind of problems. They, they go under a stress which can, uh, they, whose, they cannot face the regular life activities. They, uh, they feel, they will go, uh, they will undergo a lot of stress and pressure. So everything happens because of the pollution. May leads to so many health problems also. So all this happens because of the burning of the fossil fuels, burning large amounts of coal in industries releases so many gases, sulphur, sulphur oxides into the air. So that is also a dangerous thing and uh, the release of a huge amount of carbon dioxide leads to global warming, global warming, greenhouse effect because CO2 is a greenhouse gas. So in this way the coal and petroleum the resource if it is not used judicially 
it leads to all these consequences so here we must understand the importance of judicial use of this resource coal and petroleum as like in water so in this part in this chapter we have seen about the coal and petroleum water and forest so forest water coal and petroleum are the different natural resources which we discussed in this chapter their proper management and judicial use and what are the various social economical environmental issues that are linked up and what is our responsibility and what kind of awareness we must have and what kind of decisions we should take and what kind of options we have to choose for a proper management of these natural resources for a sustainable growth in a eco-friendly environment if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus